Welcome back, Gladiators. It's Monday, and I'm John Christofferson. And I'm Elsie Konosvika, and this is your KWHS News. College visits have started again, and this is the lineup so far. On Tuesday, January 31st, Western State Colorado University will be in the Lower Commons at 9 a.m. Also, if you're interested in attending Chadron State College in Nebraska, mark your calendar for February 15th to meet with a rep who will be here at 9 a.m. in the Lower Commons. Sign up at the Counseling Center for your passes, and remember, you can always go to the Counseling Center or their website to see which schools will be visiting us in the near future. Students, Renaissance applications are now available on the SchoolWires page under Activities. If you are currently in Renaissance, you will need to reapply for the second semester. Freshmen are now available to apply. Turn in application to Ms. Sardinia in room 130 no later than February 3rd. Glads, if you have not purchased your yearbooks, the price is now $65. Buy your yearbooks in the business office or go to yearbookforever.com. Speaking of the yearbook, if you are interested in joining the yearbook staff next year, applications are available outside room 104 and are due back to room 104 no later than February 3rd. Sign up to be a part of the team that makes memories last longer than a moment. See Ms. HK in the library for more information. Glad the number of classes are vying for your bodies next year. For example, food skills and caring applications are available from Ms. Tuji in room 163. Applications are due today to be eligible for the class. If you're looking for a semester-long elective next year and interested in the field of education of coaching, why not try the education exploration class? For more information, see Ms. Ship in room 202. Also, current sophomores and juniors interested in teaching applications are available for next year's honors teacher cadet class. See Ms. Ship or go to the Counseling Center for more information. Hey, Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Happy Monday, welcome back. Today we're having cheeseburger and fries. Come on, yeah. out and see us. <laughs> have a great day, bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks, Miss Betsy, I'm really excited for lunch. Glads, the library hosts student union until 4 p.m. Check it out. You can come play games, work on homework, check out books, and even play Xbox. You must have a sticker on your ID. If you need a sticker, see Miss Price in the front office. Also, Glads, did you know that you do not have to come to the library to check out books? Check them out online using ebook and on the library page and follow directions to Overdrive. Remember, you can also read these books on your phones. Now here is Dylan Ham with our sports update. Good morning, Glads. I'm Dylan Ham, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Both boys and girls played TCA this weekend. The boys defended our home court. The Lady Glads put up a good fight, but the Titans came away with the victory. Both teams take on Canyon City tomorrow. The girls are at home, and the boys are away. Both varsity games start at 7. Interested in becoming the next Michael Phelps? Come to the boys' swim and dive meeting on Wednesday, February 1st, in room 110 during lunch. The meeting is the first step to getting a boys swim and dive team back to WSD3. All boys interested in playing baseball, there is a mandatory spring baseball meeting in the cafeteria this Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. Now over to Doc with our health tip of the week. Hey guys, it's Doc with your health tip of the week. So this week I want to talk about energy drinks. So I know sometimes they say all natural, they're gonna give you great energy, but I want you to be weary. Many energy drinks contain things that are not good for you. So they can increase your heart rate, that's where the energy comes from, but this undue stress on your heart can also cause long-term damage. So if you're drinking an occasional energy drink, don't worry too much. If you're someone who drinks a couple of these a day, then you might wanna choose something better. Fruit juice, antioxidants, vitamin water, all great substitutes. Thanks, Doc. Remember, stay off those energy drinks. I'm Dylan Ham. Have a great Monday. Back to you, John and Elsie. Thanks, Dylan. Hey, Glads, do you have a teacher who really makes your day? Recognize your teacher by filling out a reverse power ticket. Find them in the attendance office. We will highlight more teachers this Friday. Glads, are you a good writer or a photographer? Do you like making videos? Do you think the news could be better than it is now? 
then you should join KWHS News next year. We have positions available in front of and behind the camera. See Mrs. Noop in room 102 to pick up an application or if you want more information. Students, remember to return your scheduling forms for next year so you can get the classes you really want. Do not delay, otherwise all the best classes will be filled out and the counselors will have to select classes for you. Glad. Are you a fan of BattleBots? Here's your chance to watch a real live version of a robot challenge. On Saturday, February 4th, robot builders from all over the city will invade Bowers Gym. The robot challenge starts at 7.30 and goes until 5 p.m. Come check it out. GLADS, especially seniors. If you need to recover credits to graduate, credit recovery applications are now available in the Counseling Center for February classes. You can do two credits per session. Course fees are $100 per credit. Get back on track to graduate on time. Now here is Abby with a special announcement. Abby. Hey there students, we're totally having a Sadie's 80s dance on Friday, January 27th. Oh my gosh, ladies, here's your opportunity to finally ask that special guy to join you to the 80s inspired dance. Shut up, not sure what to wear? Oh my gosh, like watch an episode of The Goldbergs to check out the shoulder pads, acid wash jeans, and mall hair. Don't just show up in your regular clothes, as if. Tickets are totally $5, and outside guest passes are available in the main office and are due on Wednesday, January 23rd. Now back to you, John and Elsie. Thanks, Abby. I'm getting my outfit ready this week. In breaking news, this week starts our Spirit Week dress-up days. Today is I Woke Up Like This Monday, so hopefully you wore your PJs today. Tomorrow is Friday. Tuesday, dress up like a frat boy. On Wednesday, it's way, way, way back Wednesday. So dress up like a grandma or a grandpa and bring your canes and walkers. Thursday is flannel day for all of you lumberjack types. And then on Friday, it's neon day. So sport your neon and make it 80 style. Have a great day, lads. That's our news for today. Have a great week. Hello, Mr. And I'm John Christopherson, and this is your KWHS News.